Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we'll be continuing with creating a professional match move reel with free software and your phone. So far, we have created the image sequence and transcoded it. We have created our 3D scan and tracked our footage to the scan with just mobile phone footage and using free software. So now the problem is because we've tracked it in 3D PLE, we can't export it to anywhere. All we can do is save and look at it basically. So all we have to do now is actually record our screen. And all I'll be using for that is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a free screen recording software and it's great. I use it for all my tutorials. So I'm just gonna open up OBS and show you some basic settings, then record my match move shot. So I have OBS here, double click, because I'm already recording this, um, it's gonna tell me I've got it recording. So I'm just gonna launch anyway. And there you go, you can see that it's recording through on this, because I'm recording on the screen, it kind of looks funny, so it's like, whoa, it's very uh, infinite realities. <laughs> so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings, and I'm just gonna to go to my output recording. I'm going to go browse. And currently I'm saving everything in here for my uh, recording. So I'm just gonna go new. I'm just gonna, you can save it anywhere. At, in fact, let's go to the proper file. And I'm just gonna call this uh, screen capture. Oh, screen capture, not screen capture. And I'm going to select folder. Then I'm going to apply. So all I need to do is go to my video. Because my uh, screen is a 1080p, I, I could use my other monitor if I want, but I've kept everything at 1080p. It might be different for everyone else. But generally, you don't have to really change much in here at all. We have to set up your uh, saving uh, file. And yeah, we don't need audio or anything. So we can close that. So at the moment, we're it looks like I'm recording this because that's just what I'm recording on the other one. And you might not have this. So at the moment, I've got display capture on. And to do this, all you have to do if you want to disp capture display, just go plus and select display capture. And it will say create new display capture two. Click OK. And now we're double recording our screen. And it will give you this area that you can record it. And you just select OK. So that's pretty much it. It's going to look funny because at the moment I'm recording two times over but that's all you have to do for your screen recording software so I'm just gonna pull this to the right so I'm gonna have to talk through what I'm well I'm only selecting start record and that's pretty much it I don't have to change anything else so I'm just gonna pull this to the right because I don't need it at the moment so I'm just gonna open up my 3d that I've just had open and we can press play and we can see that we can play through our shot. So next thing that we will really want to do is kind of make our scan stand out a little bit better. We've gone through the effort of tracking all this so we kind of want to make sure we can see it. So this is all down to personal preference. You don't have to do it any particular color. All you have to do is just make it so you can actually see it in shot. So. The thing is that you always want to kind of, you want to pick a color, basically. You don't want to have multiple colored wireframes in different shots. You don't want to, when we look through your show reel, it's, it's just good to have one color all the way through. So it doesn't look like a rainbow. What we can do, we can 
just see what we can do with this and see if we can get a nice sort of wireframe look. Um, let's go with green, everyone. Green's pretty, you can see it. You, you can go with whatever, basically. As long as it's clear that it's working and you're not like that, that's bad. Obviously, that's bad because you can't see anything. You need to be able to see what's underneath the mesh. And with the with a scan, it's a little bit more forgiving because you can see the curves. You can see how it's working really well, basically. It just looks like it's mapped onto the geometry. So I'm going to stick with that. So if you're going to do this for multiple shots, you probably want to write down these values because you want to keep it the same throughout unless you're going for that rainbow look. Um, I probably wouldn't advise it, but um, yeah, it's entirely up to you, whatever colour you do. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to set this up to record as much of it as possible. So I'm going to close this. And what I can do, I can just minimise this, and it's up to you whether if you want to show your deviation browser. Um, if you've got a good deviation, and it looks good, it's worth showing. If it looks really bad, well, if it basically if you're recording it from here and you're hiding it, it looks it doesn't look good either. So, if you're doing it this way and you're recording it in here, you probably want to have your deviation showing, because if you don't have it showing, it looks like you're hiding something bad. So I'm just going to go full frame. Now if I press spacebar. You can see that the playback is playing back at it's playing back quite fast. It depends on what your um, spec is on your computer, I guess. But this is quite a small image sequence, and you can make this run faster by doing it with JPEGs instead of EXRs. So we've done that basically. We're ready. We, I'm happy with my my wireframe. So I'm just going to quickly drag over, and, and basically all I'm going to do is just start recording then press spacebar and that's pretty much it so press start record in fact i'm going to start here i'm going to start recording now press spacebar i'm going to move my mouse out of the way <laughs> so make sure you do that so it's going to go one more time yeah and i'm going to stop now so and what you can do I probably should have done this before. If if this is not because we, we're we're um sort of doing this that we can't export this, so everything we do is in three D. So actually looking at this now, it doesn't actually look that nice. So what we can do, we can go to our Windows, Tributes Editor. Let's go to our project. Let's just change our file clipping plane. And let's change this to 500. See what that does it. Just change this to 500. Yeah. We can close that. And now we've got sort of rid of all that horrible stuff in the background. That kind of. Because we've got such a nice geometry here. We don't want to ruin it. Well, it's up to you. I'd, I'd rather keep. We can see all the backgrounds working with all this. We've got the horizon line in, so. I would like to keep it as just nice geometry. So I'm actually going to do that again. I'm going to press uh, start recording and spacebar and move my cursor out of the way. Yeah, stop that. Yeah, and we've recorded it. So yeah, we're pretty much done now. We've recorded our footage. So now we can do, we can just, I'm just going to open up that uh, recording. Let me just bring this across so it's not so big. And I'm just going to play through. And it's a little bit funny whilst I'm recording it, but um, it's a much clearer when I'm looking at it on my, my actual screen. Um, yeah, so we've now, we've got our footage. We can now show that we're tracking. Ooh. Let's get rid of that now, it's kind of funny. 
yeah, and we're pretty much done. The next thing is would be to edit this into our reel. So yeah, if you've it's been a very quick tu uh, tutorial on OBS and how to record your screen in PLE in 3DE Personal Learning Edition. Sorry, and yeah, it's just showing you how you can create a fr free match move reel without having to pay for any subscriptions or anything. So it kind of helps people that can't afford to download the sort of software and stuff. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.